Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So, I got another little project. Uh, probably gonna be doing projects for the next little bit. Um, just spending a lot more time at home these days. Don't really have the, the time to do the big adventures right now. We'll get back to those, no worries. But anyways, I got a project done that I've wanted to do for a very long time. Um, but basically, I was mainly waiting, you know, just until I had the skills to do it. Um, I definitely learned some things. I did some new things. I'll do some stuff differently next time. But um, what I built myself was a take down uh, buck saw. So here's all the pieces, right? So I'll show you guys how this goes together. Um, now, all I've done to, up to this point is I've actually just roughed it out. Um, I still need to do all the finishing, I need to do all the sanding, um, and um, I need to seal it. Um, but that I want to do with you guys. So I didn't do this building part with you guys. Um, two reasons. One, my time is so limited these days with uh, having Olivia around and, and Jax that for me to build this and set up the camera, it was just, just took too, way too much time. So. And there was too much of stuff for me to figure out before I honestly want to show you show you guys. But I will go through all the components of it anyways. Um, so that way, and I'll give you guys all the measurements as well of all the pieces. So if you want to pack this project yourself, realistically, um, you can. It was. Uh, as you can hear Olivia playing in the background. <laughs> um, but yeah, it definitely was a lot easier than I uh, originally had thought. So here's all the components. Basically, you got the two um, end frame pieces. So these are gonna be your handles, right? And then you got your crossbar. And the crossbar is 20 inches. Now the, the length of the crossbar is going to be determined by the length of your saw blade. So my saw blade is 20 inches, therefore my crossbar is 20 inches. Um, I'm also going to probably make a 30 inch crossbar um, and a 24 because I'd like to get a 24 inch blade as well. I think that'd be a good size. But anyway, so this blade right here actually came off of my Pape's uh, one of his box saws, so it is a little dull, so I'm going to sharpen this up, and uh, this will be the blade that I'm going to use for this box saw for now. Now, so a couple things. I built this out of um, Douglas fir. I probably won't do that again. Um, it was pretty easy to work with, but what, what's happening, let's see, I'll try to see if I can show you. You see it like right in here and right in here. Um, basically my rasp, maybe it was a, too aggressive, made my techniques too aggressive, but it was like just peeling big grainy chunks off. And um, so I was not very happy with that result. The next, I do have some red oak, so I might rebuild one out of red oak. Now the other thing too, is if you can see here, so I have this notch here for my, uh, my tensioning rope and I had one on this side uh, but what happened when I came to clean it up this actually broke right off so I ended up just drilling a hole and putting it you know I think I might like this a little bit better anyways so that kind of worked out for me um so yeah like I said I'd probably use a, a, a better wood than fur fur is light though um but we'll see how long it lasts how, how well it works now um this is gonna be my little uh I guess my little tensioning piece. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use this particular piece and if I do, I'm gonna clean it up. I mean, right now it's just rough. Like I said, this is just the rough. I wanna do all the finishing work with you guys here. So, anyway, so let's go over the measurements. All right, so just in case you guys wanna do this. So the handle itself, I did 16 inches. And basically my thought was, is the log I want to, like, I want to cut at least an eight inch log. So I just went eight and a half, up to eight and a half inches. Now, I also made my first tenon and my first mortise. Uh, I'm not gonna go over detail with this, on this. Um, I'm an amateur when it comes to this kind of stuff. Yeah. So you can find lots of information on YouTube. No, no. 
Um, so yeah, down at the bottom here, obviously I drilled my hole for, for my blade and then all I, I cut this with my, um, my pole saw and then I actually, I opened it up with a, a buck saw blade because I knew that that's the, the width that I needed. All this, minus the holes, was all built by hand. I did this all by hand. Um, I also started off with a one by three, and I ended up just shaving this down. I used a spoke shave. I used um, some files and stuff just to shape this down. All right, so I'll show you what it looks like put together, and then we're gonna finish this, and then we're gonna sharpen up the blade and put it to use and see how it works. All I know is I'm pretty darn excited to have a, a takedown buck saw. Hey, and what's a mountain man with his own buck saw he built, right? All right, so let's put this together. Really easy to put together. I right, just gotta line up the holes. Uh, I am gonna get different bolts. Um, I wanna get something with some wig nuts so it's a little bit easier to take apart and it uh, might stay together a little bit better. So I think this table is going to work a lot better for me inside the house here for this kind of stuff. Uh, I've been uh, honestly having some troubles, um, you know, figuring out the best way to present stuff to you guys inside my house here is. Um, it's just been so darn cold and again, limited time. So uh, I haven't really been in the garage much this winter. Everything's been kind of done inside, and the odd time I've just run out quickly up to the garage. Okay, many parts. Car, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 walkie. Again, this will go so much easier with some wing nuts. All right. So there's the, uh, the two handles together. So then, part's pretty easy. Self-explanatory. Um, now mine only fits one way nicely, so uh, I will be uh, making some kind of marking just to make it a little bit easier to put together. Um, there we go. So now tensioning cord on, like so, and again, I'm going to trim this, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use exactly this piece of paracord, or use some um, 550 fire cord, then it's just a matter of winding this thing up until you got some tension. Like I said, I want to make a nicer piece than this. So, there you go. There's the basic frame and design. Like I said, handles, 16 inches. I'm 8 inches right here. I got a 20, 20 inch crossbar. That's about it. That's all you need for measurements. Um, like I said, you can make the handles smaller. You can make this more compact. You can make this smaller. Um, you can make a crossbar longer for a longer blade or shorter, vice versa. But this is what I did. Um, so yeah, so let's go uh, go to the garage. We're going to sand this up, and then we're going to come back in the house. We are going to seal it, and then we are going to sharpen the blade and use it. All right, All right. back in the garage. So we're gonna sand this up. While I'm in here, I'm gonna show you the tools that I actually used uh, to build this. So first things first, this little pole saw. This thing is awesome. I mean, I've always wanted a Japanese pole saw, but I don't have the money for that yet. This one came out in around the $30 mark. This thing works wicked. Um, also, there's a variety of files that I used. Um, so we got this rasp, which is just like a no-name rasp. It actually works good for certain things. It's not as aggressive. Then I got a really aggressive uh, Nicholson file to take down all the big stuff. 
Then I got a bit of a less aggressive Nicholson file that I like using. And then uh, just a Nicholson Bastard file. So those are the files. Also, I used uh, a spoke shape to take a lot of material down. And then a card scraper or cabinet scraper, they call this. To do uh, a lot, of, to get rid of a lot of the file marks. All right. So now we are going to do some sanding. So we're going to start up with some uh, some 80 grit. Now I'm not going to get super fancy with this. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a bushcraft tool, right? So it's just going to be a workhorse. But I just want to get some of the roughness out, out of the way. Because it's not going to be an art piece by any means. So, I mainly want to, like, so remember how I told you that thing was super aggressive? Look at this. Alright, so that's mainly what I want to just take, take care of. Alright. You can see, even with just a little bit of sanding, it's a lot better. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean all this kind of stuff up. We're going to go, we're going to do 80, 120, maybe 220. I might even just stick it at 120, we'll see. Alright. Alright guys, so here's that little tensioning piece. So I'm just going to just clean this up a bit. There you go. A little hand drill. Start, but there we go. For a second, I just want to show you. Okay, so first things first, this is the first thing you're gonna look at. All right, so we're going to there we go. There you are. So you look down the blade, and you know how some rakers go this way, and some rakers go that way. Well, first thing you want to do is make sure that you got one. Opposing that way, the other one going that way, all the way through. So, make, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all these and make sure they're all good. Okay. So, uh, right, left, right, left, right. Just give it a gentle bend. You don't need to go too, too crazy. Especially these older blades, sometimes what happens, they get hit, they get squished, so. Okay, so those are good. Those are good. Those are good. Those are good. So, they all seem pretty good for the most part. So now I'm just going to take my file. And... If you look at the blade care, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this. Let's see. Anyways, you'll kind of see where the cutting edge is. Just follow that. That's the easiest thing I can really say. And a lot of times, it's easier to just have this blade right on uh, your saw. 
make it a lot easier. So what I'll do is I'll do the one side first, and then I'll I'll flip this all over and do the other side. See, this particular blade is actually a green wood blade because you'll see you have the little rakers here that help clean out the green wood. So they aren't the best for dry wood. I mean, they work. And that's what you're, you're usually going to find on uh, most box saws. But if you actually buy a dry wood blade, it works way better. But this was my grandpa's blade. So I want to keep this thing going for as long as I can. So there we go. Well, give her the old test, eh? I probably should have done like a before and after, but anyways, not exactly a log. And, but, piece of dry wood, nonetheless. So, let's see how she performs. There she is guys, take down bow saw, works like a charm. So, other than uh, doing the finishing touches like cutting down this cord, putting the string through this hole, and putting some stain and finish, she's done, she works. Um, I'll probably still order a dry blade, just cause I have a dry blade on my other saw and it just rips. I'm obviously still gonna keep this and use it since it is my grandpa's. But I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. Like I said, this is a project I've wanted to do for a long time. So now I can add this to my pack and I will have a sick saw to bring with me in the bush. Anyways, if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this build. Um, I got some more stuff like this. As soon as I got some more free time, I'm definitely gonna be building a lot of more uh, stuff like this. I know maybe this summer, one of the projects I might try to tackle is I want to make myself a set of snowshoes, which I like the uh, authentic snowshoes. But uh, yeah, and if you guys are new to this channel, just check out my, the rest of my content. If you like it, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I don't just have building stuff. I have fishing, I have hunting, I have bushcraft, I have survival and DIY projects. So a little bit of everything that, that encompasses the outdoors. Um, other than that, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for joining along and we'll catch you guys in the next one.